Umar Bashakut's Mini Mart is a one-stop retail shop for household essentials. It's patronized by scores who reside in Jahi Village, a local community in Nigeria's capital Abuja. The majority of Umar's customers pay in cash, and more than 90% of them still use the old Naira notes for transactions. Some of my customers used to pay me in new notes, but it's just few, just few of them, just 1% of it. Like Umar's customers, more Nigerians still do not have access to the new notes and the decommissioning of the old notes scheduled for January the 31st. I went to this uh, heritage bank to withdraw. The security guy told me that uh, there's a new note in this machine, but the maximum at which I can withdraw is just 2,000 naira. Whenever we go to bank to do any transaction, we shouldn't be coming back with the old note. We should be coming back with the new notes. I've withdrawn money from the bank through the counter, even ATM, and I didn't get any new notes. For the banks to still be issuing old notes at this time of January, then imagine that way. It's that everybody will start scrambling to change it. The central bank's move is aimed at mopping up excess money in circulation and boosting its cashless policy. The Apex Bank said it will not be extending the deadline. Reason would always prevail. Okay, when the facts are there that they can't, they can't, uh, the money is not in circulation, like you've said, uh, it's not the fault of citizens that are not circulating it. So there's no way you can, uh, they want to, you know, uh, stifle or, or stop the economy from running. That 31st can be sacrosanct. It cannot be. It should not be. Nigeria is relatively a cash dependent economy with a vast gap in financial inclusion. While many fear that Nigerians, especially in rural areas, may still be stuck with the old currency by the deadline, economic watchers are urging the Apex Bank to intensify distributions and awareness about the new notes and its cashless policy.